times you are the captain of our destiny. The champion of the host of and captain of Nathaniel Bass's destiny. calendar the the significance of 2020 in the Jewish calendar in the equivalent means is the year of the mouth so this is the year that you have to speak God's word and prophesy to even stay alive isn't it amazing that that there's something happening in the world that makes us cover our mouth <laughs> because it's the year of the mouth Hey. Yes. So open your mouth wide. Open your wide mouth wide against the virus, against the darkness, against the powers of hell, against the sickness, against that demonic interference. Open your mouth and declare. Hey. The champion of the champion.
Alléluia. Amen. 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 Alléluia. Amen. Amen. Alléluia. Amen. Indeed, a blessed amen, a blessed alléluia. When two or three are gathered in his presence, he is there in our midst. We thank God. We welcome God. We thank you, blessed viewers. We thank you all. Our blessed saints, blessed viewers from all over the world. We bless you. We thank you for making an appointment with no disappointment. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you for the wonderful experience. It's one continuous day of worshiping. It's one continuous day of his high glory. We remain the one continuous day. And when you are in his presence, it's time for you to harvest. In his presence, there is fulfillment. In his presence, there is liberty. In his presence, there is freedom. So you harvest. Do not come into his presence with weary heart, with fainted heart. Come into his presence as as you are and give a thanksful offering. How? What is this offering? Praise his holy name. Worship his holy name. He is there in your midst. He is there wherever you are. It doesn't matter whatever country, whatever uh, town, whatever uh, continent that you find yourself. He is there in your midst. He is there. Uh, we thank God. We thank God. Bless you. Us, we are going to pray right now. We welcome you to our Sunday online our life service ministration. It is a day the Lord God Almighty has made for we all to rejoice and be glad in it, for we all to worship and to acknowledge his presence, for we all to continue to say Ebenezer to his holy name. God is faithful, God is love, God remains God. He never changed. He is no man that he should lie. He is no man that he should change. God remains the same. He is the same as yesterday. He is the same as today. He remains the same forevermore. He is our faithful God. He is faithful. Oh, Lord, you are faithful. Oh, Lord. Every day and every hour, you are faithful. Oh, God is faithful. You are faithful. Oh, Lord, you are faithful. You are faithful. Oh, Lord, every day, every day, and every hour, you are faithful. Oh, Lord, so bless your harvest be seen, for he is faithful. Meaning, what he says he will do, what he promised he will do, he will surely do it. Numbers 23, verse 19. The God is not a man. If he has promised you a good thing, if he has promised you a good life, if he has promised you his faithfulness, if he has promised you his Holy Spirit, that you will surely harvest, that you should, you should surely receive, that he says he will do in your life. John 14, say, I have to go, but the Father will send you. The Father will send you. You are the one that the Father will send. Father, is sending the Holy Spirit, the advocate, the another comforter coming in on your behalf. When you speak, you speak in the authority of the Father that the Father has promised you. Remember, he said, whatsoever you bound on this earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on this earth, shall be loose in heaven. Because the authority as the, as the Father promised has been given unto you. So harvest and acknowledge that you have received what no man can give. You have received what no man can have. You have received what no man can present, you have received is for me his most holy presence. Because in his presence, there is fulfillment. In his presence, there is liberty. We thank God, blessed viewers. We are going to pray right now. We are going to pray right now. Uh, remember, uh, Jesus taught us how to pray. And, and, and as much as we are taught how to pray, we have to continue to live by the standards by which we are taught. Uh, and, and praying not only for ourselves, also, praying for forgiveness for the nations, praying for forgiveness of the people, the people who dwell on this earth. Remember, the head is of the Lord, and his fullness thereof. The head belongs to our Father. The head belongs to our Father. Let no one say and let no one claim to be the owner of this, the owner of everything. Everything belongs to the Father. 
everything belongs to the Father. So while you are here, you are a caretaker of what belongs to the Father. And what is of the Father is yours because of your faithfulness, because of you are faithful to his command, because you are faithful to his instruction. What belongs to the Father belongs to you. What belongs to the Father belongs to you because you are keep power of his word. Jesus says to a disciple in John chapter 8, verse 2, if you keep my command, if you keep my instruction, you are mine, you are mine. Meaning, whatsoever belongs to the Father belongs to you. And right now, as we are going to be praying for all our sundry, as we are going to be praying for nations, as we are going to be praying for leaders, as we are, as we are going to be praying for those that are sick in their body, those that are facing situation, those that are facing illness, those that are facing all kinds of disease, those that are being placed in different uh, compartment, those that have been placed in different ICU, even those that have been taken to a place called orphanage homes because what? Their parents have abandoned them. Though many have been placed in different sides of the river, in different sides of the bushes, we pray for them. There are many nations today, blessed viewers, that are going through all kinds of diverse situations. There are many Christians today that have been killed in their home. There are many Christians today that have been killed in their places of worship uh, because of religious, because of religious mentality. So now we are going to pray for those people. We are going to pray for them that the Lord of glory in his infinite mercy, locate them. Locate them. Those that are being uh, are propelled against the will of God. Many have been forced to deny this gospel. Many have been captured against their will and they are being tormented. They've been battered. They've been beaten. They've been killed. They've been murdered. And there are no ones. I mean, when I say no one, I mean the leaders of that nation is not doing anything to, to, to help them. Many families are in mourning right now because their loved ones have been abducted and they've been literally beaten to death, born to ashes because of what? Because they are Christian. We are going to pray for these nations. We are going to pray for this community. We are going to pray for this family. The strength of the Lord will come. Where the prince of the Lord is, there is war, there is liberty. Where the prince of the Lord is, there is freedom. We are equally going to be praying for all the children, all the boys and girls. We pray that the glory of the Father that is upon them, nothing and no one can snatch them away from such glory. We pray against influence, whatsoever that is uh, uh, influencing the youth to become addict of all kinds of substances, for all kinds of abuses, for all kinds of drugs related and alcohol. We pray that the Lord of glory in his infinite mercy, his glory rests abundantly upon them, that nothing shall separate the youth, nothing shall separate the children, and nothing of this world shall entice them from the prince of the Father. We equally go to pray for them. Also, we pray for those that are under the influence of addiction. Many have been in prison because of addiction. Many have run away from their home. Many have run away from their family. Many have run away from their marriages. Many have run away from, from their businesses. Many have abandoned their ministry because of what addiction, addiction of all kinds. Is it, is it sexual immorality addiction? Is it gambling addiction? Is it uh, drinking alcohol and, and, and drug addiction? Many has such addiction and such have imprisoned their mind, imprisoned their mind. We are going to pray with the word of spirit, the word that is life, the word that is that is active, and the word of God will locate them and bring and break them out from all circumstances, from every prison, every prison yard that they, they might be because of this addition, every prison yard they might be because their mind has been stolen. We pray for restoration. So open your mouth, open your heart, blessed viewers. Let us let us set captivity free. You've been given that grace, you've been commissioned to, to set captivity free, you've been commissioned to liberate to liberate those that are under, under the influence, under, under all kind of forms, all kind of forms, when I say all kind of forms, those that are under any form of influence, any kind of influence, whatsoever it is, whatsoever that is happening in their life, you've been given grace to set them free from such yoke. You've been given grace to liberate them from such captivity. So open your heart, open your mind, and let's pray together. Remember, uh, let's quickly, uh, before, we, before, we, uh, well, before we open our mouth to pray, I want us to, Let's quickly open open the um open the Hebrews chapter four. Eh? Let's go to Hebrews chapter four there quickly. Amen. We are reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter four, verse twelve. The Bible reads, for the word that God speak is alive and full of power, 
making it active, operative, energizing, and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life, soul, and the immortal spirit, and of joint and marrow, of the deepest part of our nature, exposing and sifting and analyzing and judging the very thought and purpose of the heart. Amen. The very thoughts and purpose of the heart. Such is the word that has been placed in your mouth. Such is the word that has been placed in your heart. Such is the authority that has come to rest and take its rightful place in your mind. Now, let's quickly go to Revelation chapter 5. Start from this one. Revelations chapter 5, verse 1. Mm. And I saw lying on the open hand of him who was seated on the throne mm. a scroll mm. book mm. written within and on the back, closed and sealed with the seven seals. Mm. Verse 2. Mm. And I saw a strong angel announcing in the loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll? Mm -hmm. And who is entitled and deserves mm -hmm. and is morally fit to break it? Mm -hmm. Verse three. Mm -hmm. And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth in the realm of the dead had this was able to open the scroll or to take a single look at its content. Mm -hmm. And I wept mm -hmm. audibly and bitterly because no one was found fit to mm -hmm. open the scroll or to inspect it. Mm -hmm. Verse five, then one of the elders of the heavenly sent hundred said to me, stop weeping. Mm -hmm. See the lion of tribe of Judah, the root source of David mm. has won, mm. has overcome mm. and conquered. Mm. He can open the scroll mm. and break its seal, mm. its seventh seal, the six. Mm. And there between the throne and the four living creature beings and among the elders of the heaven, Lisan Seandrin, I saw a lamb standing as thought as though it has been slain mm. with seven horns. Who, who qualify to open this book? Who qualify to stand in the gap for nations? Who qualify to stand in the gap and pray for those in hospital? Who qualify to pray for leaders? Who qualify to stand and declare the word as it is in heaven? To be so on earth, because as it is in heaven, so it is on earth. This is the prayer that Jesus taught us how to pray in Matthew 6. So, because now the word that you'll be praying with is active, the word that has been given unto you, the word that has been graciously given unto you, the word without limitation, the word without limitation, nothing can limit, nothing can hinder. Where the issue comes from is the, the fear and the worry of mind. A mind that is in worry, a mind that is in state of worry, cannot be given this authority, cannot pray in such manner. A mind that is worried cannot work, cannot harvest in the prince of the world. Because if you allow your worry to control, your worry dictates the heart, your worry dictates where to, where to go, your worry dictates what to speak. So let go of your circumstances. Let go of your worry. So put, put whatsoever that causes you not to be, not to uh, uh, harvest what you've, uh, what he, he, the Father comes to give to you in his presence. Because true worry, you added nothing to your life. True worry, you added nothing to your life. You've been given the word. How it will happen, where it will happen, when it's not your own concern. Because he has already overcome. So see he that has overcome for you. See he who has overcome for us. See he that said, do not worry, take heart, cheer up. I have already overcome. 
For your sake, he has already overcome. For our sake, he has already overcome. So whatsoever that is happening in the nation, whatsoever that is ongoing in the nation, don't see the trouble. Don't see the situation. See the one that has overcome. See the one that has sent you. See the one that has given you authority unto you. Authority to declare his word. Remember Matthew 28, from verse 18. That authority has been given unto, unto you. Unto us, the authority has been given. Mark 16, he said, go ye into the world. Or so ever, so ever. You are, the appearances of the Father is upon you. So we are going to pray right now. Let's have yours. We are going to be praying right now. And listen, uh, forget about your trouble. Forget about your issue. And let's pray to the Father. Let's pray in the Spirit. Let's pray for the nation. Let's pray for the community. Where you are, you are the light of that community. Evil must not prevail where the light of God is. Because the light of God illuminates and darkness things from existing. So right now, we are going to pray right now. As I ask my sister to lead us into prayer. Thank you. Can we pray with you as at home? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Spirit of truth. We thank you, mighty God. We bless your name, O oh Father. Mandro Isa Kalia Andoro Kosita. Mandro Kosite Lebosita Karia Andoro Kosanda. Mato Koliando Rekesie Tokolia Ando. Zuta Kaliba Suta Inda Liba Sunde. Rokotoli Kabosha Takaria Atopoliba Suta. Mandro Isa Kaliba Sondoro Kosita Libayanda. Zu kaliba yanda ita 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 makor ita li kabo shata karia andere kesuta mando roko sata kaliba sundere kesuta roko ndoli kabo shata kalia andolo boshita your word of God is shafa rakato le boshita on shifting rakanda li basuta li basendere bosha rearranging rakato li basuka li bas Father, in hospital, we thank you, Rakasuta, for those that the word is rearranging, Rakasonde, Reketele, Boshata, healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for there's no name above your name, Karonde, Lebosia, Ata, Mandro, Isokoto, Likaboshata, Ekanibayando, Rokosita, Nibayande, Rekesuta, Rondo, Rekesute, Rekesonde, Rekesuta, Makori, Ita kaliba suta ina liba sute ronde kesi ita liba sondo remosha those mighty God they are facing death araka suta liba suta man Father we pray in the name of Ebra de Lura Lisha Pur in the Zibra, Eshetelibra, Eshetelure, Eshe de Bredura Libra Puta Lista Kaata, Zebra de Shilita Pura, Zebra de Shalibra Dure, Alebra Dira, Alesha Putu, Esha Tatalibra, Esha Tatalure, Esha Gita Libra, Alibra, Alista, Alebra Dura, Alista Pure, Zebra de Shiluta Kibra, Zebra de Shalibra Pure Libri in the Rakatalibra, Rakatalure, Rakadeshi Lita Pura. Pure libri ele zebra disha kute ibra kalista ibra kadure ibra deshe lita kure libra eshete libra eshete dure eshete libra disha kute libri ele jabra dere jabra dure jabra deshe kuta libri ele zabra deshe kuta libri ele rakadura madalisha madalisha dusha kuta libra for those that are in hospital, Father, we continue to release them in the name of Jesus. We continue to speak the healing in the name of Jesus. We continue to say your word, let it penetrate as we are sending it right now. We pray for schools, mighty God. 
Father, we thank you for this great wonderful day that you have made for us, Lord. We bless your holy name, we lift your holy name above, and then we praise and worship you, Abba Father. Thank you for the wisdom, thank you for the word, thank you for the manifold, manifest world that is upon our life, oh Lord. We pray for all leaders, we pray for all nations, we pray for all countries that will declare your glory, will declare your peace, will declare love upon nations, oh Lord. Nations that is at war, nations that is fighting Christianity, nation that is in, in the war of religious battle, Lord God Almighty, will declare peace upon those nations, will declare peace upon we we'll say enough is enough, enough killing is enough. We we'll say it's enough though of those killing our father. We we'll say let your glory that is that is that has come to fill the earth be manifest upon those nations. We we'll say those families that are in mourning, our father, your word locate them and comfort them. Your word comfort them. It is your word that comfort all heart. It is your word that bring peace, that peace that transcend all knowledge and understanding upon the heart of those that are in mourning. We pray for the family that have lost their lost one. We pray for the family that have lost and lose their loved ones due to this brutality of religious feeling. Abba Father, let your word reign. Let your peace reign. We pray for those in hospital, Abba Father. We pray for all the workers, all the health workers, all the health workers, those that are working in different health institutions. Father, we pray for them, O Lord. All the doctors, all the nurses, all the matrons, Father, we pray for them. Even those that are working in service of cleaning and maintaining the, maintaining the hospital, Father, we pray for them, O Lord. May your word continue to strengthen them. May your word continue to lift them up. May your word continue to guide their hearts. We pray for all the patients, oh Lord. Every patient in every hospital, whatsoever sickness, whatsoever infirmity, whatsoever disease that has confined them to that bed, whatsoever causes that bed ridden. Father, your word come to send them free. Your word come to give them life. Your word come to set them free. Your word come to give them life. Your word come to liberate their body, to bring freedom upon their life, oh Lord. We declare them free from that yoke of sickness. We declare them free from that yoke of infirmity. We declare them free from that yoke of disease. The light, the light of God is upon their life, upon their body, releasing them from all pains, the pains that are filling their body, the pains that is causing discomfort. Father, your word has come to set them free. It is your word that locates. It is your word that breaks every dividing line, every war. Nothing can enter your word, nothing can make your word not to do what it promises to do. The life has come upon their body. Life has come into their life right now. We pray for those children that have been places in different orphanage center. Father, as the society has deemed them as orphanage because they have no parents, oh Lord. Father, you are their mother, you are their father. Lord, we pray <coughs> that your grace is more than sufficient upon their life. Those that have been abducted against your, against their will, Lord, those that have been kidnapped and those that have been taken from, from those centers, Father, we pray. We pray that your word intervene. Your word intervene, O Lord. Your word intervene, O Lord. And we say, Lord Almighty, the authority of the spoken word. We say it is over with that syndicate. It is over with child molestation. It is over with child kidnapping. It is over with those that are in the business of human trade. Father, we declare the light, the light of God to expose evil hands that is, that is behind such. Every evil hand that is behind such, Lord. Father, let the light of God expose them, O Lord. It is over with child molestation. It is over with child kidnapping. It is over with every form of human trade. Human trade that is happening in the different part of the society. Father, Lord Almighty, Lord, Lord, Lord God Almighty, we place we place the world, we declare the world and we wage war against such art. We wage war against such evil heart, against such evil heart. Evil presence, oh Lord, evil presence, stand no, stand no presence. It, it, 
Son of praise, in your praise, Lord. In your praise, there is liberty. In your praise, there is freedom. Father, Lord Almighty, as you long as your praise has come into this matter, Lord God Almighty, it is over with child kidnapping. It is over with child abduction. We give you glory, we give you honor. We pray for those that are under the influence of addition, Abba Father. Those that are, are, are addition has taken away from their loved ones. Those that are addition has taken away from their family. Those that are addition has taken away from their well wishes, even from their ministry, from their business. Father, we pray for them, Lord. Your word set them free. Your word locate them. Your word break them from that shackles of addition. Your word set them free from where addition of circumstances has kept them. Their mind is being restored. Their health is being restored. Their life is being restored. For you come to give life, life of abundance. We declare such upon every heart, every mind that is under the influence of addition. We say it is over with addition in their heart. It is over with addition in their mind. For your word has come to take its rightful place in their mind and in their heart. We give you glory, we give you honor, we answer your holy name. Father, we pray for all the learners, all the learners and the teachers, Lord. We pray for a better relationship, oh Lord. We pray for a better report between the student and the teachers, oh Lord. We say, let there be, a, let there be harmony, let there be unity, let there be love, oh Lord. Let there be love, let there be unity and harmony, oh Lord. That the learners will be obedient to whatever the teachers are teaching them. Lord God Almighty, we pray for schools, we pray for every institution that is being considered to serve society, to to serve humankind, we pray for transparency, we pray for fairness, we pray for kindness, we pray for love, we pray for goodness, we pray for mercy upon this institution of love, we pray against spirits of corruption, we pray against evil of corruption that is ongoing in different institutions of love, the corruption that continues to be ridden and reduced society, Lord God Almighty, we pray for the heart of men to be to be subdued, the heart of flesh, the heart of corruption to be subdued, oh Lord, let your word, let the spirit word penetrate into all hearts, removing that element of corruption in the heart of men alone, and setting them are free, setting them are free alone, aligning them in the world of glory, in the world that give life, in the world that set free. Sheteli bradura lim kalista pure, shebrede she shebredura, shebredi shakuta, eketelibra eketelure, esheti bradura lim shakute elibra, mandeista madira, madisha kute libre ende, shebredi shakute libre ende, rakata libra, rakata lure. We give you glory, we give you honor. We adore your holy name. We thank you, King of Glory. We thank you, Abba Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. Abba Father. Abba Father. We love you, truly love Abba Father, Abba Father. We love you, truly love you, blessed Jesus. Blessed Jesus, we love you, truly love you. You have to love him and love his presence. What can, his presence, nothing can limit his presence. Where his presence is, there is, there is what? There is liberty. Where his presence is, there is adversity. Where his presence is, there is freedom. You have to love his presence. And he wants you to remain in his presence. Where you can never be armed. Where you can never be touched. So when Jesus was saying to his disciples, I will be with you. I will never leave nor forsake you. When he's saying that to us, he will never leave us nor forsake, you, nor forsake us. Meaning we remain in his presence. So when it says in John 16, verse 3, take heart. Take heart, I have already overcome. Because in his presence, that trouble, you will see it. You, you see it no more. In his presence, that situation, you will see it no more. And such is what happened when, when Mary met with uh, 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 um, Elizabeth. When Mary met with Elizabeth, Mary carried the presence of the Father. Because the angel have, 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 this came to her and said to her, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you 
amongst women. So amongst women, she was blessed because she carried the presence of the Father. So the word now came upon Mary, <coughs> and our womb was used to birth the word. Our womb was used to birth the word. The same word that we have been ushered and be, the same word that we were chosen in. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 is the word that we were chosen. We were chosen in the word. The word that was there before all things. Before all things, the word was there. So it's the same word that we are chosen. It's the same authority that we have been given, graciously given to pray. And it, the Father wants us to remain with such authority. So never let anything to take you out from his presence. Never allow anything to separate you from his love. Never allow anything to take you from where the Father wants you to be. Never let anything, no matter what you are going through, remain in his presence. Let's open to the book of <clears throat> Isaiah. Let's have you Thank you so much. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for praying with us. Thank you for allowing yourself to be used as a vessel unto honor. As many have been brought into freedom, as many have been brought into redemption, as many have been restored right now, be reconciled back to the Father, as many have been, uh, been taking their rightful place through the grace that never departs, through the unfailing glory of the Father. Thank you so much, Psalms 57. I want verse 15, but start from verse 12. Right? Isaiah 57. Isaiah 57. Isaiah 57. Let me just. Okay, let me read this version. Okay. We are reading from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 57. The book of Isaiah 57. Um, I'm starting. I'm starting from verse twelve. Isaiah fifty-seven from verse twelve it said, "I will expose your righteousness and your works, and they will not benefit you when you cry out for help. I will expose your righteousness and your works, and they will not benefit you when you cry out for help." Let your collection of idols save you. So the wind will carry all of them off. A mere breath will blow them away. So, but whoever takes refuge in me, whoever takes refuge in me, will inherit the land and possess my holy mountain. This is the message that God has been speaking as it was then. This was the message that God spoke and God won. That's why, because of this, because of the way the Israelites behaved and the way many also behave now, you behave as if the Father has not given you a helper from above. You behave as if someone did not lay down his life for you. Many behave as if someone did not go and pay the ultimate price for them. Many believe that that many many behave as if the trouble that they go through is bigger than the grace that that God has graciously given to them. When you begin to when you begin to when you begin to behave in that manner, you are simply telling God that it's not enough. You are simply telling God that you needed myself. You are simply telling God you need your own plan. Because now you begin to enter into your plan, and your plan is not the most holy plan. The, the, the Isaiah 55, say my, your, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your plan are not my plan. So why can't you wait on him? Why can't you wait on him? Just as the master, Jesus, Jesus waited for the Christ. 30 years he waited. The promise of the Father came. You allow, you see, and, and, and what do we mean by this idol? Idols, now that we are talking about, you know, it's not necessary when you went and carve or you make a, you know, uh, many people, they carve all kind of things and they place it as their gods. 
many make many make uh, uh, many make uh, foreign objects, foreign ions, and they make it as their gods, and they make it as their gods. So also many many who take things that does not belong to God. They also idolize those things. You take the world that does not reflect the Christ, not reveal the Christ. You mean that is an idol. You look, you you base your your love on someone that is not of God. That is an idol. That is an idol. You begin to concentrate more on things, on things that does not glorify God. That is also an idol. An idol that you are spending your time with. And, and, and it's, it's a one year. God says, when you cry out for help, listen to this. When you cry out for help, when you cry out for help, let your collection of idols save you. Meaning now, <laughs> you now met with, you met with, uh, uh, you met with the light because you've seen the light, because you've heard the light. Now you met with someone, you met with the woman of God, you've seen the light in her, you know she's from light, and you know she can set you free. But you've not actually emancipated yourself from the high doors that you keep, meaning all this great blessing that are yours, if only you separate yourself from what contamination. So you refuse to emancipate yourself from those idols that you spend your time with, from those idols that you idolize in your heart, from those idols that you are busy worshiping. But now you want breakthrough from this woman of God. You want breakthrough from this man of God. You want breakthrough from this woman of God. You want, if this woman of God can just speak, you want, if this man of God can just lay hand on you, they may lay hand on you, the freedom you will not receive. You will not receive. God says, let that thing that you believe in rescue you. Let that thing that you cry in rescue you. Because you did not trust in the Father. You did not bank on the Father. You did not hope on the Father. You do not trust on the Father. You do not wait on the Father. You are seeking help from where? From the most filthiest, filthiest place. From the most filthiest, filthiest place. That's where you run. That's where you seek your help. That's where you call righteousness. That's where you call righteousness. He says it. But I'm using the NIV version. Uh, he says, it, I will expose your righteousness and your works. When the light of God comes, it exposes. It exposes <clears throat> that in most the innermost, innermost, what is in the heart will be exposed. If truth is not in the heart, it will be exposed. If deceit is in the light, in your heart, it will be exposed. If lies is in the heart, it will be exposed. If waywardness is in the heart, the light will expose it. The light of God exposes all things. It is a light that darkness can never comprehend. Darkness can never comprehend such light. And where is this light found? In the world. This light is found in the world. It's the world that became flesh. So whose flesh is this world? We began by saying, who qualify? We read Revelation chapter 5. Who qualify? If you did, if, if you, if uh, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, if you do not have that world that is active, if you don't have that world that is spirit, that world that is life, how then you qualify? How can you be qualified? Because such is your qualification. So I love you, Master. I love you. So I love you, Master. I love you, so I love you Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Listen to this. He says, I will expose your righteousness and your works, and they will not benefit you. So you've been changing idols. You've been changing idols. How? Oh, what do you mean changing idols? You've been changing pastors. You've been changing churches. Which one, which one will work for you? Look on the course of this year. How many, how many have you been with? Jesus, Jesus asked that, asked the Samaritan woman in John 4. 
where, where are your husbands? Not husband. Where are your husbands? You, you, you've, you've, you've been going, idolizing, even making idol from, from, from what you do not know. Thinking is the breastplate of your righteousness. Thinking is the, is the way out for you to, to know and to receive. Where is your relationship with God? Do you not know that each of us, we are made? Don't you know that salvation is personal? Don't you, do you not know that you are to speak to God? Okay. All right. Uh, listen to this. Listen to this. Verse 13 says, when you cry out for help, let your collection of idols save you. Now, the wind will carry all of them off. A mere breath will blow them away. A mere breath. A mere breath will blow them away. A mere breath will blow them away. Now, now, hold on, listen to this. Listen to this. A mere breath will blow them away. Now, he says now, but whoever Whoever takes refuge in me will inherit the land and possess my holy mountain. Whoever takes refuge, whoever takes refuge in me will what? Will not be blown away. Will not be blown away. Okay. Um, let's just put our finger here. I want to. I want to. I want us to. I want us to go somewhere. I want us to allow the spirit of God to lead us. Put our finger there. We want to come back to. Me. Let's go to Matthew, Matthew seven, Matthew chapter seven. Okay. Um, and everyone uh, will, will touch uh, Matthew seven. Okay. Let me just start from verse twenty-one. It's fine. Said, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my father. Only the one who does the will of my father. So the idols, do they do the will of the father? Do they do the will of the father? Okay. Who is in heaven? Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name uh, perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doers. Now, look at where I want us to see. Verse 24. He said, Therefore, everyone who hears this word of mine, everyone who hears this word of mine and puts them into practice, do you see that? This is where your relationship will be established. You've received the word. Now, the, the word that you receive must be put into practice. Not by any word, but by you, the, the receiver. You that have received the word now. This is how now you, your, your salvation can be known. This is how your salvation can be established. This is how your salvation can remain in its most uh, olive uh, place. It says now, anyone who hears, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice, hey, hey, it's like a wise man. Who built his house on the rock? It's a house that is built on the rock. We find out, we find out that uh, many houses that is that does not have a, a rocky foundation. When wind comes, wind blows those houses. We've seen, we've seen it with our eyes. Even even without wind, self, ordinary flood comes. Flood without wind comes, and it it washes houses that is not built on a rocky foundation. So there is, there are houses that are built on sand, and there are houses that is built on rock. Now rock, Peter, rock is Peter. Rock is Peter. Christ said, "You, Simon Peter, you shall be called Peter. On top of you, I will build the foundation of my church." the body of Christ. And gates of hate, what's the meaning of gates, gates of hate? Meaning the realm, the realm of death. 
death does not come, death comes with its fruit, with its affliction. People first seek to death. People fall poverty to death. People fall in, in disease to death. You see, the road to the road to death. So the realm of it, the realm of it, so death and the surrounding will not work prevail over the one that is being built on the rock of foundation. The rock of foundation. Because Jesus is, is the rock of foundation. The Christ is the rock of foundation. So now Christ wants Christ needed our body, our body to be the foundation. You see, he, he, look, he is the foundation. Now, our body now will not inherit the foundation. If the foundation is built in you, you become unshakable. You become more than a conquer. Nothing, nothing is in your mind, nothing is in your heart that, that, that is not of his will. You are you remain someone that if, if you immediately, immediately something that does not belong to God, you will be able to descend and you stay away from such. You will not testing, testing, testing. Yeah, the, the word says the, the scripture says test all waters, but don't go deep in into waters that 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 is not from, from above. Because the water that is of Christ, it will give you life, not imprison you. So you go and you enter and you take a water that imprison you. How do you see the, the fact that you are not putting a physical a physical shackles on your wrist doesn't mean that you are not in prison. See, the, the putting a shackles on the wrist is mere nothing. It's nothing compared to putting a shackles in the mind. Because the first place a person must prosper is in the mind. Meaning, if your mind is being shackles, this one that you put on the, this one, you're under arrest or whatsoever, this one is nothing compared, compared to, to, do, to this one. This is the most holy place. So if now, yeah, it's been, uh, 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 been under the shackles, nothing that you been, nothing that you been, nothing that has been presented to you that will penetrate because your mind is already in shackles. My father calls it borrow mind. So now, see, what says, God says, because you, because you idolize such things in your heart, in your mind, you will cry out for help and the help will not come. The help will not come. We, we, God is taking us to this direction for many to know. I, I, I've been prayed to I, I, every time I've been prayed to, and nothing seems to be happening. No, no, you need to, you, you need to what emancipate yourself. You must be willing. You must be what willing, willing to submit yourself totally to the will of God. Because when God give, God give it all. God gave it all. He gave his only begotten son. He did not give some of it. He gave it only begotten son. Jesus Christ came and laid it all out. He took it all. He, he took it all. He took it all. Because you want to make a plan. You want something that will suit you. If, if a language does not suit your heart, your mind, you resort to your own plan. We are saying, the world is saying, your plan, God says, your plan are not my plan. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. Why are you not separating yourself from God's thoughts for your life? Why are you separating yourself from the plan of God for your life? Because his plan is the best plan. And his plan is for you to remain in his presence. But, but there, is, there is fire on the mountain. There are troubles. No, no, no. In that trouble, his strength is made perfect. In that weakness, his strength is made perfect. You have to hold on. Because he says, I have overcome. So you have to know that you've already overcome. So if those troubles are not there, how then will you know that you are an overcomer? Matthew 7, verse 25 says, Therefore, anyone who hears these words of mine, and put them into practice. It's like a wise man who built his house 
on the rock like a wise man. So you become wise because you, you hold on to his word. Ephesians chapter one. Let me take it from verse seven there. He is the expressed wisdom of God, Christ. So because you hold on to his word now, you become wise. If you, are, if, you, if you lack wisdom and you want to be wise, hold on to the teaching of the Father. Hold on to his word. Wisdom is in this world. And wisdom is known by his deed. Wisdom is known by his action. That's why holding on to his word, you will know how to act. You will know how to behave. You will know what to say. You will not just open your mouth and speak unnecessarily so. You will not just find yourself and begin to behave like unbelievers. They do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. But now you are becoming like them. Hmm? Because of you lack wisdom. You are becoming like them. Because of you lack the word. You are becoming like them because you are not founded, not firmly rooted in the world. Now you now become unbeliever. Now you seek idols because now they've resorted to idols. And now you've been taken into their ways of belief. This 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 uh this this a province there's a province eh? in, in in our country. When I say province, it means a state. And um and we have 36 states in Nigeria. We have 36 states. There is this particular state that um is many of the states, not even one but many of the states, many of the states. Let me say in Nigeria too, I know many families like they will tell you. Christian in the morning, tradition in the, in the evening. You know, they have idols. They have idols in their house, and they make their children to also pay homage. They call it pay homage to the idols. But but in the morning, the Bible, you go to church. In the evening, you offer also prayer to the idols. It's also here. Yeah. Many of it have seen it. I've seen it, I've seen it in, in the this country also in Dublin, I saw it. You know, so now the question is now: Who are you serving? Who are you serving? You serve idols in comparison to the living God. You serve a dead thing, an object. You serve an object in comparison to the living God. You idolize someone, a person. You idolize things that does not reflect or reveal the glory. But you like that personality because of the way the person speaks, because of the way the person teaches. Yet, Christ is not revealed in the teaching of that person. Christ is not reflect in the teaching of that person. The wisdom is known by his character. Wisdom is known by, by revelation. Wisdom is known by deeds. You do not see a character of wisdom. You do not see a, a, a reflection of wisdom. Yet, you, if supposed to be a believer, you succumb to what, what the person is saying. Meaning the speaking skill, the speaking skill of that person has sort of entangled with your mind and your mind has been shifted. Your mind has, sort of, has shifted. The focus, the focal focus of your mind has been as shifted into the, 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 the merry words that you are receiving from those person. You are already lost in translation. You're already lost in translation. Christ is not revealed, but you are taken by the teaching. What? what? A teaching that does not reflect Christ is not Christ's teaching. A teaching that only re reveal gift and not Christ manifest manifest uh, uh, Christ manifestation. Such teaching is not from above. So I love you, Jesus. So now Matthew seven verse twenty four says it. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine 
and puts them into practice. It's like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blow and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. What is the rain? What is the wind? What is the stream? What is the rain? What is the stream? What is the wind? Revelation 7, we saw four angels come with rain, with wind. To destroy. To destroy. But the fifth one came and said, oh dear. So in, in, in the Christian daily life, you go through all this. Daily, you go through all of this. But it will not shake you, nor, nor, nor berate you. Because your foundation is on the world. And if your foundation is on the world, remain rooted. If your foundation is in the world, remain rooted. Where you can never be touched or never be taken or never be taken out of his presence. Remain rooted. Remain rooted in the world. So that you will not be blown away. So that you will not be blown away. Waves of teaching, it will blow you away. Not establishing your relationship. Not giving you the Christ for you to go and build with. Not giving you the Christ for you to go and make a record with. Every day you are in a way, waves of teaching. You will be blown away as the wind blows that waves of teaching. So also, the one who idolizes such. Waves of teaching. Let's quickly go back to Isaiah 57. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> now, I'm out. Verse 13, Isaiah 57, verse 13. It says, when you cry out for help, let your collection of idols save you. The wind will carry all of them off. A mere breath will blow them away. But whoever takes refuge in me, whoever takes refuge in me, who is he? The word. John chapter 1, verse 1. This is the Christ. This is the Christ. Whoever take refuge in me. Remember, Isaiah's message was Christ's message. Isaiah's message was Christ's message. So who would take refuge in me? Who would take refuge in Christ? Who would take refuge in Christ? He says here, he says here, whoever takes refuge in me, we inherit the land and possess my holy mountain. Well, possess my holy mountain. Where is the holy mountain of Christ? Where is the holy mountain of Christ? Where is the holy mountain of Christ? If you are in him, all the fullness of him belongs to you. If you are in him, all that is of the Father belongs to you. John 14, verse 12. Great work I did, greater, greater work you will do because it belongs to you. Greater works you will do. You will do more than what the Father did because it belongs to you. I love Jesus Christ. Now, verse 14 says there, Isaiah 57, verse 14 says, and it will be said, build up, build up. It will be said, build up, build up. Prepare the road. Prepare the road. Remove the obstacles out of the way of my people. Because you are of the Lord, you are an intercessor. Because you are of the Lord, you are not only to build yourself, but build others up. Because love that you have received is also love to be gained from you. Great work I did, greater work you will do. So you are not only a builder, 
because you the foundation of the building is upon you so you are also to extend such and also build 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 building is giving christ not waves of teaching not waves of idols not idolizing people not idolizing objects but building people up removing that obstacle removing that that obstacle must be removed I love, you, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Master. That obstacle must be what? Must be removed. He says here, verse 14. And it will be said, build up, build up, prepare the road, remove the obstacles out of the way of my people, for this is what the I and exalted one says. This is what now the I and the exalted one says. He who lives forever, whose name is holy, he who lives forever. This is what the Lord God Almighty says. He lives forever. And such is what he has given to us. He says, John 10, John chapter 10, verse 10. I have come. The Father said, I have come. That you may have life. That I may have life. That we may have life. And that life, not, it's not just any life, it's internal life. And what is internal life? Internal life is to know God. So now Jesus presented us, no, Jesus Christ presented us to God. Presented, presented us to God. But now Isaiah said, when God said, who am I going to send? Isaiah presented Isaiah presented said, Here I am, Lord. Me and those you send, send us. Send us. See, God is sending you into the world. Into the world. The same John chapter 10. I'm sending you out like a lamb among sheep, among the, uh, uh, like a lamb among wolves. He's sending you out to build up. Because what, what you carry and what is upon you can never be limited. It can never be limited. It's internal life. It will face every storm. It will weather and ride on storms. It will walk on storms. And that storm will not consume you because it's the life that death can never take. Because the light that is in you in this life that you carry, darkness, death can never comprehend. So you carry what is beyond human comprehension. You carry what is beyond death comprehension. You carry what is what is beyond darkness comprehension. That is why they cannot get to you nor even touch you. They look for something around you. They look for something you love. So, so, so now you, as a wise builder, who built on, on, on the word of God, you become wise because you build on the word. You become chosen because you are of the word. You become wise because you are holding on to the word. You become wise because you are building on the word. Now you are only led by and with the word. That's why Apostle Paul said, I resolve to know nothing of you. I am not interested in anything that pertains to you except the Christ crucifixion. So I resort to know nothing. I resort to nothing except for the Christ crucifixion. So if you make Christ your life, the author and the finisher of your life, if you make him the foundation of your life, nothing that comes in, in the idle ways can steal you from his most holy presence. No situation can take you or snatch you out of his most holy presence. You remain because you are untouchable because of the grace that is upon your life. You will remain because you are rooted, you are found. When the Christ look, you are there because he is in you. This is the relationship that must happen in the life of a believer. You are not a Christian if you do not have a relationship with Christ. Christian comes from Christ. So you must be 
The Christ must be found in the Christian. That's what constitutes you as a Christian. The Christ must be found in you. Because as a builder, you are the hope of glory. As a builder, you are what? The hope of glory. Colossians chapter 1. The Christ in you is the hope of glory. The Christ in you, not in another person. Not in Christ in you. Listen, you, you know, you know, salvation is not on collected, collectively. Salvation is a personal, personal, personal. It is something that you must personal experience. You must personal by confessing the Father, the Word, the Christ as your Lord and Savior. If doing so is making him the pillar of your life, so when the 72 left, Jesus asked, Simon, aren't you going with them? No, where can we go from your presence? Where can you can we go from your presence? Where? Even meaning, even if we leave, it doesn't mean that we cannot, we can escape, we cannot, uh, we can never escape your presence. Because your presence is everywhere. It is everywhere presence. Where can we go from your presence? Where can we hide from your presence? Where can we go? And David asked someone this night, where can I go from your presence? You cannot go to the north without him not being there. To the south, he is there. To the east, to the west, he is there. Where? So where? So where is, where, where is this place that I can go without your presence not being there? Be in his presence, carry his fullness. Whatever you go, it accompanies you. So this size will accompany you. His presence will accompany you. It will accompany you. Whatever you find yourself, you are not there all by yourself. You are there with the side. You are there to illuminate. You are there to bring freedom. You are there to bring liberty. You carry experience and you go to a place where experience is not there. You are now to bring his presence into that place, not for you to be consummate by the place of where you where you were. You are meant to illuminate the light that is in you. So it says here, verse 14, Isaiah 57, verse 14 says. And it will be said, build up, build up, prepare the road, remove the obstacles out of the way of my people. For this is what the I and exalted one says. He who lives forever, whose name is holy, I live in a high and holy place. But also the one who is contrite and lowly in spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contract. He who is humble. I mean, you know, if you if you if you have spirit of humility, you will not question whatsoever is happening in your life. You will not question why are you going through this? Why Jesus never questioned what he went through. When the father, when the Christ was leading him to be slaughtered, he never questioned the will of the father. Jesus never questioned the will of the father. No. He humbled himself. And let that will be done. He says. If he was to say for him, he would have asked for this cup to pass. But let that will be done. Let that will be done. Allowing the will of God to be done. God wants to, God wants to see your heart if you truly, if you truly hold on to his word. If you truly hold on to his word. Would you would you uh, would you give in to, to your plan? Give in to your plan. I know a place say he will say to you, uh, I know, I know I can take you to a place. You'll be helped. All this problem will be out of your life. Who told you? All this problem will be out of life, out of your life. Eh? 
where do where where did this project come from? Did the one say to you, all oh, this project will be out of your life? Did, the, did that one actually uh, did that person uh, put the problem in the first place? Did that person put the problem there in the first place? There's something. There's something that uh, many have no have no uh, uh, knowledge of. Nothing happened to anyone, no matter the population, no matter the population, no matter how they say the world is overpopulated. Nothing to happen to any single individual without without the knowledge of God. God is king over rulers, over principality. God remain king. <laughs> God remain king. He, you see, he make all things and he create all things. There is nothing that is in this head or in heaven that is in existence without the knowledge of God. But now, you that you are of his word because you keep his word, he gives you now authority over the works of his hand. Understand this, you have been given authority over what God created and what are creation, rulers were created, principality were created. Now you have been given authority, you have been given authority over the works of his hand. Imagine having authority over the works of his hand. Yet, you succumb over the works of his hand. By now succumbing to rulers and principality, you allow you allow that rulers and principality to to what to to to, to subdue to subdue the authority of the world, the authority of his promise upon your life, because what you lack wisdom, because you are not firmly rooted in the world, because you do not hold on to his word, because you do not hold on to his will. You do not hold on to his way. All power belongs to God. All power. Not some, not few. All power. Light I made, darkness I create. All power belongs to him. All power belongs to him. So I love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Okay. Uh, now. It says here, Isaiah 57. Uh, I'm using the NLT version right now. Isaiah 57. Let me start from verse 14 with NLT version. It says here, God says, rebuild the road. Clear away the rocks and stones so my people can return from captivity. Clear away. They clear away so that my people can return from what? Captivity, the eye and the lofty one who lives in eternity. The only one says this, I live in high and holy place with those whose spirits are contrite and humble. First Peter chapter five, this is the one who humble himself will be lifted up. One who humble himself, one who, who is not making, how, how is this humility seen and how is it defined in our Christian life? When situation comes, you don't go around advertising your problem. You don't go around telling, talking. See, you're speaking to over 10, 15 people with the same issue. Where is the humility? You're even selling yourself, expressing your weakness, giving ammunition, to so those that will use against your life, against the betterment of your well-being, because what well, you lacked wisdom. Now you went and sell yourself short. But a humble heart, a humble and contrite spirit, we hold on back. We put a smile on his or our face. You will not even show to anyone the weaknesses. Rather, it will continue to pray in the secret, holding on to the promises. See, a situation, whether they are favorable or not, say, it is well. Whether I'm going through tough times, when I'm going through hard times, when I'm going through difficult times, it is well. Whether the situation is unbearable, whether things are not coming together, it is well. Whether I'm being, 
overlooked, whether I'm being, uh, I'm being limited, being subject to all kinds of forms of abuses, being sub subject to every kind of things that has been inhuman. Many go through every inhuman uh, situation, yet you humble yourself. You don't fight back. You don't talk back. You don't plot. You don't scheme. You have no plan of human effort or human validation. You hold on to the promises of the Father. You hold on to his word. No matter what you are going through, you humble yourself and you hold on to his word. You will be lifted. You will be lifted. You will be lifted higher, higher, higher. You will be lifted because why? You put his word to practice. You put his word to practice. You obey his word. You obey his teaching. Let's finish here, bless of yours. Verse 15. Verse 15. The I and the lofty ones who live in eternity, the only one says this, I live in the eye and holy place with those whose spirits are contrite and humble. I restore the crushed spirit of the humble and revive the courage of those with repentant heart. For I will not fight against you forever. I will not always be angry. If I were, all people will pass away all souls I have made. God is speaking to you today. Change from those who idolize ways. And come into his presence. His presence, there is fullness. There is joy. There is peace. There is comfort. In his presence, there is liberty. And you are free. You are free from every shackles. You are free from evil desires. Meaning you can never be touched because you are more than a conqueror. God love you, blessed viewers. We believe this word you've received this morning. Meditate on this word. Meditate on those verses. And allow his fullness to take his rightful place in your life. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to our master. Glory to our savior. Blessed viewers. Uh, blessed viewers, uh, this is a time for salvation. This is a time to welcome the, the master. This is a time to establish your relationship. This is a time to be reconciled. This is a time for you to enter into his most holy place. So if you have not known the Lord and you like to know him or you, fail, you fall short and you would love to be reconciled back to the Father, this word is speaking to your heart and you want to be in his presence, you want to remain in his presence, you want to experience liberty, you want to experience what freedom from captive is all about. Follow us, join us, as we'll be leading you to Christ. As I'll add, add back to my sister, she will lead us and lead many to Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He was at home all those that hear the word of the Lord and wants to remain as a fertile ground. Amen. Our father, Professor Liseho Daniel, yesterday was yeah. teaching mm. about the ground, a, a fertile a ground, ground, where any sort of seed can mm. be planted and it will produce. Amen. Amen. And, and this morning, uh, I woke up, hallelujah. Amen. With a revelation, revelation. all kinds all of kind fruits, of fruits. <laughs> hallelujah, Amen. all Amen. kinds of good things mm. coming out of a fertile ground. ground. You want to give your life to Christ. Amen. You say, yes, Lord, I've deviated. The apostle has already preached and said, Hebrews 1, Hebrews 4, Four. verse 12, the word of the Lord is sharp. There's a key that I got from that, mm. where it says it is analyzing, mm. rearranging. Mm. It's not only sharper, it penetrates mm. and do the work. Mm. Now you want, to, you want to dedicate your life again to Christ. Mm. 
I'm talking to you, Backslider. This platform is also for you who are listening or who are viewing this message. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for my life. Thank you that I reached to this platform. I hear your word. I repent. Lord Jesus, wash me with your precious blood. Make me clean. In the name of Jesus, I believe that you are the only God who forgives sins and take them away and never remember them. Welcome me in your kingdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name. Now you are welcome in the house of the Lord. You are now born again. All sins are forgiven and they can never be remembered. If the darkness come to you and say, oh, remember yesterday you did this day. I do not know what you are talking about. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For my sins has been washed away Amen. and the memory has been cleansed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's clap hands for them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The old is indeed God. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. And the new has come. Mm. Let's not remember the old ways. You've been, you've been purified. You've been washed. You've been cleansed. Remain in the presence. You are welcome. You are highly welcome. You are highly favored. We thank God for your lives. Now, this is advice that we give. Seek where you've been nurtured with the word. The foundation of your life has to be nurtured. How? Daily intake of the word. Daily meditation of the word. So you meditate on the word day and night. It says the command was Joshua chapter one verse. It said, "Do not let this word leaves you. Do not let this foundation leaves you. The foundation can leave. Foundation leave if someone is not maintaining the foundation. Foundation leaves if someone is not maintaining. You see, the bridges has to be maintained. Has to be maintained because the foundation has to be maintained." You must work and meditate on the words day and night and remain uh, uh, in, uh, in take of the word. Seek where you will be, you'll be sustained with the word and be nurtured with the word. Don't, 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 don't be carried away by idols. Don't be carried away by idols. Don't be carried away by, by, by skillful teachings and skillful ways of speaking. Don't be scared away by, you know, um, um, I'm, I'm not, you know, don't, don't be carried away by such. Allow the spirit of the Father that you've just welcomed in your heart now to lead you. And humble yourself. Humble yourself as whatsoever that you are going through. And God will guide and lead you. God is faithful. God is God. God remain God. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to minister right now, blessed viewers. We are going to minister right now. Um, uh, we thank God for the word that, I've, that, that we've received. We all receive. Even I that was speaking, I was also receiving. Uh, uh, I thank God for this wonderful time. Um, it, it's a time to refresh ourselves right now. Uh, praying with the word that God has blessed us with right now. Uh, pray right now. Every idols in your mind, in your heart right now. Command such idols to depart from your mind. We command such idols to depart from your spirit. We command such idols to depart from your loved ones, from your family. The hand of the Lord has come upon your life, upon your body right now to set you free. The light, the light of God has come upon your life right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, causing your life, causing your body to prosper from all evil desires right now. No evil set against you will prevail over your life. You are set free, you are made though. I pray, we, we pray for those that are sick in their body right now. The hand of the Lord has come upon your life, upon your body, prospering your health, prospering your body. Your body. Removing every fundamental trouble in your health, removing every fundamental problem in your heart, in your body right now. The light of God has come to prosper your body, to prosper your life. You are prosperous. Your body is prospering. Your health is prospering right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for those that are sick in your, in your, in your member of family and there is no money to take them to a care center right now. I pray for their life right now to be strengthened. The word of God has come to remove that weakness 
The weakness in the body depart from your life. The weakness from your body depart right now. Whatsoever that is causing weaknesses in their health right now, the light, the light of God has come to strengthen and to remove it from their health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The other Lord has come upon your life right now, causing your life to prosper just as your soul prospers. Your ways are prosperous right now. Your life is prospering right now. Your finances are prospering right now. Your home is prospering right now. Your family is prospering right now. Your marriage prospers right now. Your ministry prospers right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The other Lord has come upon your body, upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Causing your life to become the story from above will remove every stories that the enemy have used against your life right now. Every wrong story right now is being changed right now. Your story become a good story right now. The part of the Lord has come into your life right now. The part of success has come into your life. The part of elevation has come into your life. The part of multiplication has come into your life. The part of good life has come into your life. For it is the blood of Christ that set free. It is the blood of Christ that speaks a better report, speaks a better message upon you. I declare unto you right now a better message. I declare unto your ways right now a better message. I declare unto your family a better message. I declare unto your offspring a better message. I speak a new message in your health right now. This week, the other Lord has come. The word of God has come ahead of you right now, leveling mountain of human obstacles. Wherever you go, wherever you wherever you are going, wherever you may be this week, the, the hand of the Lord has already gone ahead of you right now, removing every form of obstacles along the way, every obstacles that in that, every obstacles that limit, every obstacle that subtract, every obstacle that steal, every obstacle that cause limitation, every obstacle that cause pain, pain in the heart, pain of the body, pain in the family. Family, pain of restlessness, the hand of the Lord has come to remove it all from your life, to remove it all from all our sundry, to remove it all from your family, from your loved ones, from your wishes. It is the glory of the Lord that has overshadowed your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare his presence to go ahead of you right now in your schools, in your classroom. The presence of the Lord is upon you. In your offices, in your place of work, the presence of the Lord has gone ahead of you. In your place of business, in your place of career, the presence of the Lord has gone ahead of you. Even in your homes, in your families, in your children, your well wishes, your marriage, the presence of the Lord has gone ahead of you right now, removing all, all problems, every problem that you can see physically or not, the hand of the Lord, the presence of the Lord has removed you from it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have been lifted up, you have been delivered, you have been rescued, you have been reconciled, you have been restored right now into his full glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare you untouchable right now. I declare you more than a conquer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I sealed your body with the blood of Christ right now, and I steal the mark of Christ upon your body, upon your head, and I declare you untouchable. No evil raised against you shall prevail by your life. No evil form against you shall prevail by your life. No evil plotted scheme against your well-being, scheme against your life will prevail over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This week, the hand of God has come to make something new, to do a new thing upon your life. You will receive a new message this week. A new message has been said. A new message has been declared. A new message has been granted. A new message has been graciously given unto you. All things have gone. Everything become new in your life right now. Your body, your health becomes a new right now. Your organ becomes a new right now. Your jobs, your finances become a new right now. Your family become a new. Experience a new thing right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with your life. It is well with your body. It is well with your health. It is well with your career. It is well with your finances. It is well with your marriage. It is well with your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God loves you. God is greatly with you. Remain blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, blessed be us. Uh, before we uh, go with the announcement, um, if you love to uh, be a partaker of this uh, ministry. I Meaning, if you it is our ministry, uh, if you would love to also give to this ministry, there are numbers there that is being placed on the Facebook. You can use those numbers and bless yourself and bless yourself. It is our ministry. Uh, we, we thank God for bringing us all together, uh, in respect of where we are, in respect of which language, in respect of the nation, of the country, of the city. We always come together and faithfully, so we come not only uh, to speak what we do not know, but to speak of what we have graciously received and what we trust in and where we have our being and where we have our comprehension and where we have our ultimate heart, which is 
the grace, the unfailing grace that has overshadowed our life. So God continue to keep us in all, in all under his umbrella. So let's remain in his presence. And let's also uh, remember this, a blessed is the hand that give, as we are continually be a blessed giver. So I want to say thank you so much for all those who continue to support the ministry, all those who continue to be uh, a, a, a blessing to this ministry. You are highly blessed, you are highly favored. As you continue to give, as you continue to sow into this ministry, God in his infinite mercy will continue to do a new thing upon your life. We thank God, we bless God. Uh, blessed saints, blessed viewers, we have come to the end of the service. Uh, we are moving with time. As we are moving with time because we are out of time and out of space. We are not limited by time. We are not limited by time. So listen to this. Tomorrow, Monday, uh, we'll be back again on this. We'll be back again on this platform from us, half past five. It is Bible uh, session, Bible class. We will come and continue with the teaching uh, of the month. Remember, the month, the month team remain, uh, remain in his presence. So we'll continue with the teaching tomorrow. And on Tuesday, we go over to the house of our father as we continue to fellowship. We are still in the month of our bed. It's the month of May, the month of our bed. We continue to say happy, blessed birthday to our father. Happy, blessed birthday to us. Happy, blessed birthday to all the sons of our glory. We continue to celebrate one another in the presence of God. And again, on Wednesday, we'll be back for youth service. We'll continue with the youth service. Uh, our, our next month is the youth month. We'll continue with the service. And on Thursday, uh, is the ministration day. Thursday, online life ministration is a day set aside where we come and minister the word. We come and minister the word in the fullness. So if there's any prayer request. Also, we, as we have ministered, we are also, uh, ministration continue. Ministration continue. We minister every day. We minister every day. But Thursday, prophecy and you have uh, any consigning concern anyone around your family or you want to have or you want to inquire for counseling uh with, with Thursday set aside but we thank God and we give God all the glory uh blessed say uh today service on Rabbanites International Ministry has come to an end but however the service continue for we'll be shifting our focus into the heart to the uh, to Rabban to Rabbanis Center Ministries the home of our father that our beds home our bet of Rabbonite comes from Rabboni. Without Rabboni, there will be no Rabbonite. Why that? Rabbonite comes from Rabboni. Without Rabboni, there will be no Rabbonite. Yes, we say it with humility. We say it with, uh, with truth. We say it without no disguise because uh, that is the platform and that is the truth. And uh, that is the truth. That is the true gospel. Uh, God is at work in your life. God is at work in your life. God remain God. God is love. God is faithful. Never, never, ever, ever, ever allow anything to take you out of his presence. Remain in his presence for you are love. So we leave you with the song of worship that we, uh, we began with as we will be saying to God be the glory in earnest. Uh, uh, hello. Hello, beautiful. Be hello, beautiful. hello, beautiful. Hello, be beautiful. Oh, wow. What would I? I am proud, I'm a proud Rabbonite. I am a proud Rabbonite from Rabboni. We tap Rabboni.